Hi guys, welcome to another Angular tutorial for absolute beginners by Tech Tech Tuts in 2019. Friends, in today's Angular video tutorial, we will learn that how can we fetch API data or data from backend services like RESTful API or any from JSON data. How can we fetch it inside Angular and then display it in our components? So, without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So we already know that Angular is a front-end JavaScript framework which is only used to build single page applications and it can only use to design user interfaces and user experience. There is no way that Angular can directly store data into any database. So for that purpose, we use server-side scripting languages or server-side programming language to create RESTful APIs and then we use Angular's module which is called http client module to fetch and to store data to that particular database using that restful api so in this video tutorial we will be using a fake restful api to fetch the data and in the next video tutorial we will use same that fake restful api data to post data to it and after that you can use any RESTful API, either you can create it by yourself using Node.js, PHP, Python or any server-side programming language, you can create RESTful API. Then you can use HTTP client module inside your Angular single Angular application and then fetch it, post it and whatever you want to do it, you can do it. So let's see how can we set up HTTP client module inside angular and fetch the data from our fake restful API server So to demonstrate HTTP client module usage I have created a skeleton application which is which has nothing in it just a simple one component and a one app module.ts file So first of all we need to import HTTP client module inside our app.module.ts file so what I will do here, I will simply type import and then the name of module is HTTP client module and I will import it from at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. So I have imported it inside app module.ts file. After that, inside ng module decorator, I need to import it inside imports array. So make sure that any module if you create it or if you have used any third party module you have to import it inside imports array. So I will use HTTP client module here. So we have successfully imported over HTTP client module and integrated it inside our Angular 8 application. So the next step is how to use this client module inside our application. So there are many ways to use it, the simplified way and the most recommended way of using HTTP client module is to use it inside a service which is an injectable class. I have already discussed about in my previous video tutorial that what are the services, how to create them and how to use them. So I will open integrated terminal here and simply what I will do here, I will create a new service with ng command. So ng generate service and I will call it post service so what we will do we will fetch post from our fake restful API server so I have created ng generate service post so it will create a post dot service dot ts file inside our app directory and you can see here it is an injectable class so it means we can inject this class anywhere inside our application so now let's talk about our fake restful api server so we will be using json placeholder restful api fake restful api server so in the browser i have opened here json placeholder dot type code dot com so this is a json placeholder fake online rest api for testing and prototyping serving 200 million requests per month so it is powered by json server plus it is it is using load db so it provides us some few endpoints and like here if we see json comes with the set of six common resources 
so these resources are posts comments albums photos to do with and users and these are also linked with each other like posts are linked with uh, users photos are linked with albums comments are linked with posts as well as and the photos are, and then we have to do's which also linked with is users so to get like post we need to send a get request to this endpoint slash post so let me click on it when i click on slash post it creates this url so this url we will be using with our http client module and we will fetch this these users which is 10 users or i think post and we have almost 100 posts so we will fetch 100 posts and display them inside our default component so let's get into our vs code and then inside post.service.ts file so here first we will import http client to make sure it's not http client module because that is already imported inside our app module.ts file <coughs> sorry so here i will type import http client from at the rate angular slash common slash http and after that we will inject it because we know that http client is an observable inject which is injectable just like this post.service.ts file so here inside constructor i will do private and then api colon http client and now we have successfully injected it inside our post.service so next we will create a function here get posts which will return an observable or rather we don't need to mention observable because we already know that it will return an observable so <clears throat> then we will simply use return this dot api dot get method we will be learning more about other methods as well, as well in the next upcoming video tutorial so here we will use get to fetch the data so get and then inside our uh, this get method we will pass our url which we have here mentioned inside our browser so i will copy it and paste it inside here and simply it will return us an observable which we can subscribe inside our component so here you see a green line it's saying you should be using single quote rather than double quotes so okay let's use the single quote so it will get posts will return us a, a subscriber or subscription so which we will subscribe inside our component so let's get into the app component dot ts file which is default when you create a skeleton application and here we have created a variable named post with the type any and in the start it will be null after that we will import posts service from dot slash post dot service after that we will create a constructor inside our app component so create a constructor and inside constructor we will use private and api posts i will name it api post so we know that this api is for the post and then posts service so we have injected posts service inside our api post after that we will use the same constructor and then i will use this dot api posts dot get posts and inside this get post it will return us a subscription so i will do dot subscribe and then it will return us the data inside here and i will assign this dot posts is equal to data so i have moved this data to this post variable now it is not null it has the arrays of post inside this post variable so next we will display this post variable inside our app component.html file. 
so now let's get into app dot component dot html file here and i will remove this data from here so let's remove everything from here uh, let it to be like this simply i will remove these links here or uh, let me rename this one posts and then i will use table here so let me remove this html and i will be using a table t head and inside t head i will create a table row and inside table row i will create a table head so what i will display here the title of the post and content of the post so these two things i will fetch and display here in the app.component.html file so next i will create t body and inside the t body i will create a row for every next uh, post so then i will use here tr and inside tr i will create a loop and you know it we use ng4 so star ng4 is equal to let post of posts and here i will create td and in the first td i will create post dot and just we name it title because we know the post have a title and then in the next td we will have post dot content i'm sure it is content let's see in the browser so title and body sorry we have a body so rather than content we must say it body here it is okay we can say it content so let's save this one and let's see in our browser and reload the application so i think i missed something here and h2 yeah yeah now save it and let's wait for the contents to be loaded inside our page so it's taking time just because of my internet connection is bit slow today so at last it fetches all of the data so you can see here we are showing the post title and here we can we are showing the post contents so you can differentiate them by putting up h2 tag here and paragraph tag here like if i go in here and put here h4 inside the td and then i will put here p and save it after that it will fetch it again and then it will show us in the proper format so now if you see we have here the titles and we have here paragraph so all of our 100 posts are shown here inside our app.component.html file and we have fetched them using http client module so guys this is it for today's video tutorial and we have learned how to fetch data from restful apis using http client module in the next video tutorial we will learn that how to post data to this fake restful api server and then show it inside over this arrays of uh, data so wait for that next video tutorial till then don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and if you like the video please press the like button and also press the notification bell icon so that you will get notified as soon as i upload a new video or start a new series so till to, to the next video tutorial take care and goodbye